guys, Jagweer Singh back with another video of Mastercam 2020 and in this particular video I will show you how can you use the transform feature in Mastercam. So let's get started. So I have a couple of requests that I got that how to use the transform features which is right here and it can be very beneficial especially when you have imported the part into Mastercam. So if you haven't watched the video of how to import the part so please go and watch the video before this as it will be easier for you to understand how the process goes itself. So the first step is that you import the part and the second step is that you might need to transform the part with respect to Mastercam and where your origin is going to be so that you know that how your part is going to be machined in real life. So that is very important to specify the origin to your part to be machined. So let's say in this case it is all right but I still want to show you how can you transform the part. So let's say that I want my origin of the part to be at the base at, at the center of the base let's say. So I would need uh, and I want my origin not just to be at the center of the base but also it should be made perpendicular I mean it should be normal uh, normally manufactured instead of side uh, instead of side manufacturing it should be made uh, from top to the bottom so what I actually mean is it should look at, at 90 degrees and the entire body should be above the origin as well so in order to do that, what I will do is, I will go to transform, I will click on dynamic. So now it's asking us to select entities to move or copy. So I'm going to select the entities, which is basically the solid and the wireframe as well, and selection. So now it's giving me an option to keep the origin and move the part. So that is basically a center, but I would like to move the part from the, from the tip where the origin is. And then I will just left click once on the green and now it will allow me to move the part wherever I want. So let's say I will write negative 90 degree as you can see and then I also want the entire body to come up. So what you can do is just do this as one step and so now when you know that you need to move the entire body above the origin. So what you can do is, sim uh, the same way, click on dynamic, select all entities and selection. So now you can scroll down the auto cursor and there is one feature called face center, click on it. So now scroll down and click on the face itself, the bottom face and it will allow align your feature at the center of the face and it should be a flat surface though. So now what you can do is you can click the ball and scroll it at the top and it will uh, automatically snap to the center and you just click left click once again and there you go. So your part will be aligned as per you want. So, so yeah, so transforming a part can be done in many different ways. You can also use the rotate features. I will make some videos about how can you use that and also the translate feature to do the same and like all these features generally in transform it it makes sense that it is going to help you out to transform a part or the wireframe itself to make uh, the mastercam software a bit easier for the user as well so thank you for watching and i hope you like the video if you like it please do subscribe like and share the video and do not forget to share it with your family friends and i hope you will keep loving the same way as you always do thank you so much for that bye